Yeah, what up, Detroit? Nuh -uh, nuh -uh, nuh -uh, no, he didn't. Uh -huh. They didn't do it again. What's happening, everybody? This is your boy Smitty from DetroitManSoon.com. Just want to give y'all my review on the Lions' first preseason game against the Browns. Of course, the Lions lost the game 19 to 17. I'm not really impressed. I'm not totally disappointed, but I'm looking to see a whole lot more. I'm going to go through a few players. Bill Bentley, of course, the guy that had the uh, microscope on him. The guy had a chance to make some plays, and he did. He did get the one interception, but he dropped another one. He did have the deep ball thrown over his head. Those are two plays that the big fella just has to make. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to compare this guy right now to Alfonso Smith. He gives up the same plays that Alfonso Smith gives. We didn't draft him to be equal to Alfonso Smith. At least in his first game, he's showing that he can be in position to make a lot of the plays. He still got to be a better corner than that. In his development as a rookie, I expect him to get better. So I'm pretty much glad that he is playing with the first team. Jonte Green was in position to make some plays, but again, he was playing with third team. So, you know, hopefully we can mix him in a little bit more, get him playing maybe with the first team, second team, just to see if this guy can make some more plays. Another guy to look at was Ronell Lewis. Now, this guy was making some plays at defensive end. He has, he has a high motor. He may be a potential Cliff Averill in the future. I'm not expecting a whole lot from him right now, but with a bet with a, a, a bunch of defensive ends that we have on this roster right now, it's going to be hard for him to crack that that uh, that top six, I'll say, or top five. Gunther Cunningham seems to not have thrown a lot out there as far as defensive plays. He didn't move guys around. He didn't show a whole lot of coverage or anything like that. And even on offense, the Lions didn't show a whole lot of creativity. So I guess they're, you know, trying to evaluate some of the players and some of the things that they have to do. So with that said, I'm going to switch over to the uh, the offensive line. Jason Fox pretty much did his thing. You know, we didn't see much of him last year. But the first overall pick, Riley Reef, did have a pretty good game. I did see some good things from him in the run blocking game. And even, you know, pass protection. He did a pretty good job protecting Sean Hill and everybody else. So, you know, there wasn't much there, but I don't expect to see a whole lot from the guy um, because he's only getting, you know, anywhere from 10 to 20 snaps a game. So he's going to be hard to evaluate. So, you know, maybe look at him snap to snap, maybe just technique and everything. They say he got the short arm. So the running game looks pretty good, if you ask me. I, I don't know if that's been a priority for the uh, Lions this offseason, but... The backs were able to see the holes, a lot of zone blocking for the offensive line. The offense did not look complete. You know, I know Titus Young wasn't there, but it was only so many snaps for the first team out there. So, you know, with that said, I'm just not happy that the fact that they couldn't move the ball and get into the end zone or even get into the red zone for that matter. So there's some things to work on there. They had a complete offseason, and they don't even look as good as they did last year with a smaller offseason. So... It's not a level of concern, but it's just like, okay, guys, let's get this thing clicking. Really. Again, I'm Smitty from DetroitManagement.com. Check me out on Twitter, SmittyDMR, and I'll holler at y'all.